My name is Monica Bassan and I'm going to talk about Google Cloud Big Table. I selected this topic as my final project for the Big Data Analytics course. First of all, I'm going to explain what is Big Table. Big Table is a NoSQL big database service provided by Google. It was designed to handle very large amounts of data sets, usually more than one terabyte. Some of the features that Bigtable has is that it's fast, fully managed, massively scalable, and as I said, they recommend to use it for data larger than one terabyte. Some of the examples of usage of Bigtable are Google services such as Google Search, Analytics, Maps, and Gmail. This is the Bigtable architecture. As you can see, Bigtable has a centralized architecture. A single master node maintains all the system metadata, and the other nodes, or tablet servers, handle the read and write requests. A tablet is the minimum amount, minimum unit of distribution. This is the data model. A row or tablet, as I said, is the minimum amount of unit distribution, and is composed by a row key column families, which can have one or more, and within those column families, it could have column keys, also one or more. Each of those, as you can see here, will have a cell value and a timestamp. This timestamp is optional. Google will set it up to the current date and time if you don't define it. In order to access to see the value of a cell, you need to input the row key, the column key, and the timestamp, and this will return on the stream. Some other types of NoSQL databases are graph databases, such as Neo4j or Titan, key value database, as the ones that Amazon uses, Cassandra or Oracle, and then calling databases. Bigtable is also compatible with ABH. And we also have the document databases, such as CouchDB or MongoDB. What are the benefits and drawbacks of Bigtable? As we said, it's massively scalable. It's an open source interface and requires very little management. The interface is very user friendly and it lets you little space to manage all the things that you will do on other types of um, databases um, configurations. It has very high performance for the amount of data that it contains and is the most cost effective database when dealing with data sets larger than one terabyte. Also, as I said, it's compatible with HBase and the Hadoop ecosystem and is the best to analyze data in massive aggregated scale. Some of the, its drawbacks are that it doesn't support queries or joins. Um, there is no consistency guarantees for multi-role or um, cross-table transactions. It doesn't have acid properties and is not good for small amounts of data. And because it's a new technology, there is no much documentation and examples about it. Now, I'm going to start with my demo workflow. The goal of my demo is to create a big table project by using the Google Cloud Platform. And after, I will use the Python library to create an instance, a table, input some data, read and write from that data, and then delete a table in that instance. Also, in my report, I have included some instructions on how to export that table before removing it. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is set up a um, Google Cloud account for um, in order to access Bigtable. You could use um, any um, Google account that you have, and it will it will connect it directly to your to your um, account. So you just need to go to this website. And there is a free trial that will give you 300 
dollars credit for the next um, 12 months so you can try it for free after in that platform you need to set up a new project um, it's very easy and you just have to put a name and it will return an ID for that project that you created that ID you are gonna need it after and other requirements that you will need to have is that you need to install the Google Cloud Library for Python. You need to have um, the pipe um, command installed and also after you have that you can install um, Google Cloud by using this command. Then you need to set up your Google application default credentials for that specific project that you created. Uh, in order to do that, you just need to install the Google SDK, which is pretty straightforward. Here is a link where you can download uh, the SDK and just, you know, select. Um, and um, I I choose the Windows one because that's what my where I'm working. Um, now I'm gonna show you my um, Google Cloud Console. As you can see here. You have several options and um, I'm going to select the big table because that's the one I'm going to use and as I said I had previously created a project which is called test project and it has this ID. Um, there are no instances created for this project so it's uh, we're, that's what we're going to do now. Now I have already installed all the requirements that I needed. So here I have um, three different scripts. One is to create an instance, and here is um, what I'm going to call my um, project, the one that I already created, which is here. And I'm going to set up all the parameters that I need to create an instance, such as the ID the zone location this is very important because depending on where you are you're going to be charged a different amount and then just a display name to know that this is the instance that i created so um let's go and run this script so i'm just going to call python big table instance script Okay, so as we can see, um, now we're going to refresh this page to see the information from my project. And as you can see, here I have my instance with the information that I provided for that. Okay, now my instance is empty because I haven't created a um, table or data inside of, inside of, inside of that instance. So in this script, which is big table under, underscore table, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a table within that project and that instance. And that table is gonna call a student and I'm gonna create family column and a couple of columns inside of the family column. And then I'm gonna insert that data and after I'm gonna read from that data. So let's do that and I'm going to execute my second script. And as you can see, I created the table, the columns, I created a first student and here is just telling me the information that I put in the within that cell in the time stamp where I when I created the the cell. All right, and if we go to the um, console, which is um very nice, here it shows you. shows you that I've done, I've run some requests here at this time 
on my um, big table platform. All right. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my project, going back to big table here. And what I, as you can see, I have my instance here and all the information. Just gonna go back here, and now I'm gonna um, export this data before removing it. And let me show you my script for that. Here is um, again my test ID. Prior to Exporting my data, what I created is a bucket, which is just the space where this data is going to be stored. I have more, more information in my report about how to create a bucket. And, and simply, I just select the name of my um, table and the specific um, sequence file that I want to download and the name of the output file that I want to create. So I'm just going to run it. And as we can see, it's telling me that I have downloaded my sequence file properly. And um, we can go and review this. We see that here, and this has been created right now. And if we open up this file, we have that here, we have the information from that file. Okay, so now we can remove um, by calling my last script, which is big table delete. Which again, I'm called my project ID, as this ID, my table. First, I'm going to delete the table and then the instance. I'm going to remove the information. Okay, so I'm just going to call this. And then I deleted the table and I deleted the instance. So now, when I go back here, the instance is not there anymore. So that's pretty much it and thank you so much.